My name is Benjamin Seibold. I'm an associate professor in mathematics in the College of Science and Technology here at Temple University. I work on traffic flow research, in particular traffic models, accurate models for human driving and their interaction with self-driving cars, autonomous vehicles. Self-driving vehicles will enter our roadways in the near future, so it is important to understand the risks and the potential benefits of inserting those vehicles on the highways. What we focus on in this research is can a few autonomous vehicles on the road get rid of stop and go ways in traffic flow. One important example is the phantom traffic jam phenomenon. You have to brake because the person in front of you brakes and you see no discernible cause for that slowdown. They just happen. When you insert a few self-driving cars on the road and control them properly, can they actually get rid of those traffic waves? The answer is yes. It works when you have about 5% of all the vehicles being autonomous. In a research project with four institutions funded by the National Science Foundation Cyber-Physical Systems Program, we have investigated this question in an actual experiment. We placed 22 vehicles on a roadway, human-controlled, added in one autonomy capable vehicle, initially let the traffic evolve with all cars under human control. You saw the phantom traffic jam phenomenon, and then we turned the vehicle over to autonomous mode with a carefully designed controller. That, in fact, can bring the whole system to a uniform flow state. And the overall fuel consumption of all vehicles has been reduced by 40%. What the few autonomous vehicles can do is mitigate the adverse effects of congestion. We take the same time to get to our goal, but we do so safer, more comfortably, and more fuel efficiently. This has important economical and also ecological effects. Mm -hmm.